Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So it's been a while since we showed you our living room. I think the last time you saw the entire living slash family room, we had just received our furniture from Pottery Barn, the two sofas and the coffee table. And at that time we had just one side chair. So just a quick update for you guys. We have received our second side chair. So the living room is finally coming together. The space is really beginning to look tight in. And for those of you that were able to see our video last week, thank you for joining us while we completed our floating shelf design in the living room. So if you missed that video, don't forget to go back and take a look at that. We rearranged our floating shelf design using the triangle design method and I think they turned out perfectly. So I'm going to give you a quick scan of the living room as it is right now. As a reminder, we got the big gray Big Sur sofa from Pottery Barn. It's 105 inches. And we also got this Jake sofa from Pottery Barn as well. And it is 86 inches. And I really love this one with the wood base on the bottom. But you can go back and watch that video and see why we made the decisions that we did. Just a quick update on the sofas. They are holding up pretty well, but I will say they're not 100% perfect. Um, the fabric kind of does, I don't want to say shedding. It's not exactly shedding, but it does do this weird thing to wear. Like now I understand why on their website, they sell this little thing that looks like a shaver whenever you go purchase a sofa on the Pottery Barn website, because the material does kind of require a little bit of shaving. It's weird to say. I haven't done it, but I can see why someone would need that little shaver thing now. I need to probably go back and purchase one. And then on the Jake sofa, which is our lighter colored one with the wood base on the bottom, it did come with a stain and a tear on the back, but they were really great about that and they immediately ordered a new one. So that new one, the replacement, should be here any day now and hopefully it's handled with care to where we don't need to order a new one again <laughs> but just wanted to give you that quick update on the sofas i still do love the decision to get these sofas and get them in the sizes that we did i think it's absolutely perfect for our space it's just something to keep in mind for when you order in regards to the fabric and it might be because i went with the base fabric um they do have other fabric options. So maybe if you spend a little bit more and get an even more expensive fabric, the outcome would be different. But now that I think about it, I don't know, because like I said, they do sell that little shaver thing on their website. So that kind of tells me it's expected to happen with these sofas. But I'm really excited because today will actually finally be styling these sofas and the coffee table. Currently on the coffee um, the coffee table, it's covered with a bunch of throw pillows from our collection, mycuratedhomepieces.com. I'm gonna be pulling throw blankets, some throw pillows, maybe some candles, our candle essential kits, different things like that. But I'm really excited to finally get to style the space and just add more warmth and comfort to the living room. I'm also gonna be showing you how to style a circular coffee table, which is what I have. But I'll also talk you through some ideas on how to style a square or a rectangular table if that's what you have in your home. Let's go ahead and get started styling. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm as I'm placing the pillows, I didn't realize I was humming music to myself. I guess I was humming the background music that I would expect Dio to put on the video. So he came by to ask me if I needed background music. Yes, I need background music. <laughs> so as a reminder, guys, when you're styling your sofas, it's really important that you're looking at the placement of your throw pillows. You don't want to overcrowd your sofa to the point that someone's not able to sit on there comfortably, including yourself. So you want to take that into account. Although we all like to have 
pretty pillows on our sofas and it really does add a lot of interest and make it look comfortable. We wanna make sure that it's actually comfortable in the placement of things. And we wanna make sure that we're not overcrowding our sofa with too many throw pillows to the point no one can sit there and it's not actually comfortable. So a good way to do that is by incorporating two to three pillows on each corner and trying to leave the center blank. Or you can do two to three pillows on one side and then do like a throw blanket draped on the other side or across the sofa to sort of balance out the look of the sofa. popular spot in our house so I'm actually going to be used incorporating two throw blankets as I'm styling this particular corner. So now that I'm done styling the sofas, at least for now, I am going to go ahead and get started on the coffee table. I like to start off all of my design with a clean base. So first I'm gonna be wiping down the coffee table with um, a disinfectant um, wipe, just making sure everything is clean. And then I'm gonna be grabbing some decor items that I have around the house and beginning to style the coffee table. 
When styling a circular coffee table, I like to look at the center of the table and let that drive essentially what I do. So I like to build out from the center of the table. With this table, it's a little bit easier because there is a smaller circle within the larger circle. So what my plan is going to be as I'm decorating the table is to place my items within that smaller circle that is embedded in the larger circle. So you'll see as I'm styling the items that I'm very intentional in where I'm placing the items. I absolutely love these coasters. One of my best girlfriends from college gave them to me and I am obsessed. They're so cute and the color pattern was just perfect for my space. Look at that. I absolutely love how this turned out. And I love that it's functional for our day to day and what we do in this space. So. Take a look at the coffee table and then I'm gonna explain to you where everything's from and why I paired certain things together. So the wood table, sorry, not the table. So the wood bowl and the wood links inside of those bowls can be found on our website, mycuratedhomepieces.com. These are some design books that I use when I work doing interior design services for some of our clients. So I just wanted to throw them in as part of the decor, any of them that I was done reading. And it's all so fun whenever you have your guests over, they're able to grab something off the table to you know keep them entertained while you grab a drink or something. This is an old plant that I had at home that I threw in this vase. And guys, as you know, every space should have a signature scent. So this is our vanilla sandalwood candle from my curated home pieces. It's a four wick candle. It burns and smells beautifully. So I'm really excited and it's sitting on our marble tray and this tray does have leather handles. You can use it as a decorative piece. You can use it as a cheese board, whatever speaks to you. All of that can be found on mycuratedhomepieces.com. But look at how this space turned out. Look at how it looks in relation to, see how it looks in relation to the rest of the living room, the fireplace, the floating shelves, the gallery lights above it. And I love the accent chairs and how all of that ties in together. Now, when styling this coffee table, just to show you what I meant, my coffee table has a circular indentation even within the circle. So my goal was to make sure all of my decor stayed within that inner circle to kind of keep it in a grouping together. When you're styling a square or a rectangular coffee table, you can essentially divide it into quadrants in your mind. 
and try to keep items either centered to each of those quadrants in their grouping or keep the items center to the center <laughs> within the different quadrants of things that you wanna put on your coffee table. So that's a tip if you have a square or a rectangular shaped coffee table, but I just really love how this turned out. This is part of our Anywhere Linen Throw Pillow collection, and they're soft, they're squishy, they're comfy. This is kind of where we just hang out all the time. That's also why I put two throw blankets there instead of one so that me and Dyer don't have to fight over throw blankets. Mm. So <laughs> well, somehow you still end up with both. Somehow. <laughs> this is the most popular sitting area in our living room. So I wanted to make sure that it had an additional throw blanket because that's functional for us. I also wanted to make sure I had a throw pillow over there for me. Dio tends to sit over here a lot. He has throw pillows over here for him, but then we have a lot of sitting room in between. You don't want to line throw pillows all along your sofa to the point your guests are not able to sit down or they're having to throw pillows on the floor to get comfortable or that it takes you forever to make your space look nice. So moving along, I love now that we finally have our second chair here, it's very symmetric. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little drink table in the middle here. I just have to find the perfect one first. So I just did our Luxe Velvet throw pillow, one of each in each of these chairs. And I topped it up with one of our throw blankets as well. And this one, I just kind of folded it nicely because a lot of times guests may not use throw blankets when they're sitting in this chair, but I wanted to make sure it's readily available for them. But I also love the contrast and the color of that throw blanket versus the leather sofa. And I really like that that throw blanket pulls in the colors of the other two sofas in the space and pulls that into this chair over here. That was really one of the things that I was thinking about when I selected this blanket for that chair. And then moving on to our Jake sofa over here, our modern beauty, I absolutely love it. I wanted to do something a little bit more fun and casual in regards to this chair just because of the silhouette of it. So I did do one of our faux throw, uh, leather throw pillows. I also incorporated our timber throw pillow and one of the charcoal anywhere throw pillows. So you can see the color variations here. You can also see how the patterns and the colors play off of a throw blanket. And this blanket guys is just a blanket that I had laying around the house that I wanted to incorporate just as a reminder that you can always look around your home to find items that you can incorporate in your space. But here it is, what do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning and are wondering how the rest of the house is looking now, we're gonna go ahead and give you a quick 360 view. rug down together, the jute rug and the rug on top. If you look at all of the colors in the rug and look at all of the colors in our space, it really all ties in together nicely. All of the work that we've put in together, guys, it is coming to fruition. So from fireplace, the styling the shelves behind us, and now the living room finally feels cozy and it feels like I live here and I'm ready to relax. If you have any questions, 
If you have any interior design questions or interested in any consultation, don't forget to go to our website, mycuratedhomepieces.com. If you wanna know how we style these shelves back here or did the ship flap behind the shelves, don't forget to go back and watch some of our previous videos. All right, guys. Oh, 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 you thought, you thought it was time to go. It's not time to go. Okay. <laughs> don't forget to come back next time. And I've actually received my side table that I will be putting on the corner over here. So when you come back next time, my goal is we're gonna put that side table together. I'm gonna find another little side table for the other side. So thinking about how we use the space functionally, this is kind of our most busy section. And then that area again there, and then over there. So I wanna try to get some pieces as far as a large side table here that's gonna fit the space, but it's also gonna be large enough to fit computers because sometimes we work sitting here and we wanna be able to put those things away inconspicuously. So, all right guys, until next time, joy fam.